Good evening. The time is 8.50 p.m. The news headline. Buhari supporters parades in New York. The president may have won the hearts of Nigerians abroad. The news in full. Over the years, Nigerians living in the United States and all over the world have shown great concern about the situation in the country. Several times it has been reported by the media the Nigerian Americans took to protest to uh, took to the streets to protest against insecurity and other problems that Nigeria is currently facing. At some point, they were not happy with the fact that President Muhammadu Buhari was leaving Nigeria to go abroad for medical treatment instead of building medical facilities here in the country. But are those Nigerians still angry with the president? Are they, are they now impressed with the current administration? Recently, it was reported that some Buhari supporters abroad took to the streets to sing the praises of the president. It was previously announced that President Muhammad Buhari left the country for New York on Sunday, 19th, 2021, to attend the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly. According to PM News, Nigeria, the group assembled, demonstrating in support of Buhari, they gathered near the Nigerian Avenue on 42nd Street, 2nd Avenue, which seems to be the exact spot another Nigerian group protested against the president on Monday. The group was seen with plastic cards carrying different mas messages. Some Nigerians believe that these supporters are just a faction of people that were hired to cheer the president and frustrate the efforts of those that protested, but it is false, says the news headline. We must understand that this is democracy. There will always be devotees and also opposers of the administration, but in the end, the majority carries the vote. This is clear evidence that even if some people are against the president and speaking against him, some others are seeing the good works and appreciating the good works he has done and is still doing. And this is the analysis that President Muhammad Buhari may have won the hearts of uh, some Nigerians overseas and abroad, but definitely some people are standing by his side, a sequel to the United Nations General Assembly that is set to hold at the uh, New York, uh, where the, pre uh, the president, President Muhammad Buhari, had left on the Sunday. Uh, and we have seen a whole lot of people gathering in front of the U United Nations uh, you know, headquarters at New York, uh, the Yoruba Nation agitators and some IPOB agitators and some other secessionist group you know, agitating and saying that President Muhammad Buhari uh, has been doing a whole lot of bad to them at home. And also we've seen some of the uh, United Nations American Nigerian also you know, uh, coming outside to protest you know, on the streets about the ills of President Muhammad Buhari back at home, especially most of the times that he travels abroad for medical attention, saying that he ought to have put medical facilities in place in Nigeria and not travel outside of the country for medical uh, treatment. And as regards the United Nations General Assembly, uh, you know, uh, the General Assembly conference that is holding of recent, the agitators have took a turn to have a one million match at the uh, headquarters to you know uh, open up their mind that they are not comfortable and they are not happy with the way the Buhari administration is running the government in Nigeria and then um, also after a, a short while some Nigerians uh, who are believed to be people hired by the president to frustrate the efforts of those that are protesting had also come outside uh, in clear evidence saying that uh, they appreciate the president Muhammadu Buhari's uh, you know, regime, and they are cheering him on, and they, with a the whole lot of placards and plastic cards, you know, saying that uh, they value President Muhammadu Buhari and the likes like that. And this was unlike the usual protests that have been going on in front of the New York headquarters. Who are fighting for self determination also have a responsibility. They must not start an insurrection, they must not generate violence in the streets. Those are the conditions. So as long you are doing it peacefully, you are in good order. The Emeritus Professor says that 
we Yoruba people decided from the beginning that this was going to be a thoroughly peaceful and law-abiding movement. And it has been so continuously. Our children did not do anything illegal. Nobody was wounded. Nobody was arrested. Neither was there any altercation with the police nor destruction of properties. Also, reacting, Pan Niger, Niger, uh, Pan, uh, Niger Delta Forum, PANDEF, commended the courage of the judge in upholding the rights of the citizens to freedom of expression and association. The South South Apex Sociocultural Group, through its National Publicity Secretary, Ken Robinson, congratulated Yoruba activist Chief Sunday Igbo, his legacy, and all patriotic citizens for the victory. He, however, urged the appeal court to live up to expectations by abiding by the merits of the case and not get influenced by the powers that be. We say well done to the court on the landmark judgment in the Igbo case. It is commonly said that the judiciary is the last hope of the common man, but it goes beyond that. The judiciary is needed and indeed the last hope of all citizens common or special, particularly in a regime like we have now, which is increasingly becoming dictatorial with unnecessary deployment of state forces to intimidate and coerce citizens who have dissenting opinions. It is unthinkable that a supposed democratic administration will give citizens all kinds of labels for simply ventilating their discontent and disaffection with the way and manner the government conducts the affairs of the country. Therefore, the National Publicity Secretary of the Oaneze Youth, Mazichika At Adili, held the judgment, saying that it is a testament that there are still upright men in the sacred temple of justice. And the judgment, Sunday Tribune gathered, dominated discussions in most public arena in Enugu State on Saturday, with many people calling it an indictment on ex uh, extrajudicial murders or suspected IPOB members as well as its proscription and labeling as a terrorist organization by the Buhari regime. And the analysis is that, uh, according to uh, the High Court of uh, Oyo State, that actually granted uh, uh, the Sunday, the Yoruba activist, Sunday Igbo, you know, some billionaire for the DSS who had actually uh, invaded his home at about 1.30 a.m., killing some people and also, uh, you know, arresting some of his aides while Sunday Igbo had to flee, uh, flee away from Nigeria uh, to Germany through Benin Republic before he was apprehended by the security agencies. And as a result of the uh, court order that it was wrong for them, whereby the judgment was in favor of Sunday Igbo, you know, the uh, Professor Emeritus uh, Banji Akitoye, who is the, uh, you know, the leader of the Odua uh, agitation, like the activist of the Odua nation, Yoruba nation, actually commended uh, uh, the efforts of the courts to have done this because it is actually a legal right for anybody to ask for self-determination according to the inter international law. Also, Pandev had actually, you know, appraised the court for not being influenced by powers, but by judging the case according to merit, saying that it is indeed true that the last hope of a common man is actually the judiciary, and not just a common man, but people that are special, and anybody that it is that are actually citizens of the country should enjoy such, saying that it is becoming increasingly uh, unbecoming, because the Dwari regime is more of a dictatorial uh, regime. And also, the uh, Nigerian Bar Association, Oweri branch, Imo State, said that although it was yet to read the judgment, but Nigeria cannot afford to go against the UN Charter to which it was signatory that self-determination is a civic right for everyone. Thanks for listening.